all righty hey capricorn welcome back um thank you for liking sharing subscribing following whatever uh i appreciate it if you are here um your animal spirit guys message today is from the vulture the vulture spirit guys in nature right the vulture is like the ultimate bird of recycling right repurposing um, of course, we know they tend to feed on dead things, right? So in a way, they recycle that death, that ending, and allow it to be nourishment for their, for them, right? So they take something that seems ugly, that seems nasty, that seems rotten, and they turn it into a positive. So definitely a transmuter of energy. Um, it's definitely symbolic of life cycles, right? Um, it's like the energy of turning pain into purpose. I feel like some of you guys are experiencing some things right now. And as I'm looking at y'all's cards, I, I've had this thought where, you know, you'd be like, I wasted all this time. Or I wasted this many years or I put in all this energy and effort for what? Right. So you, some of you guys are feeling like this anger or this sense of loss or waste and i feel like spirit is telling you with this vulture spirit that nothing is wasted it's something that i say and have said on my youtube channel and uh, my other social media platforms all the time like every experience is valuable truly 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 nothing is lost or nothing is ever wasted if it is something that you went through or have gone through in your life at any point in time it was either meant to teach you something or to teach someone around you or who's connected to you something um, or to help you grow in a way or to get you closer to a manifestation. There is purpose in everything. Even if you if it's like, okay, I was only at that job for one day. Okay, <laughs> even if it was one day, what did you learn that one day? You learned maybe what you don't want to do again. Um, you may have met a new person or two, right? That you have a connection that, that like goes outside of that one brief meeting, right? Um, you may have... Brighten someone's day that needed a light that you had to share that particular day. Whatever the case, right? So my point is, whatever it is that you've experienced that you feel like was or is a waste of time, Spirit is here to remind you that nothing is wasted. View every encounter and every experience as an opportunity. Whether that be an opportunity for you to learn, an opportunity for you to grow, an opportunity for you to manifest or, or to walk into change, okay? There's that. Um, the first card that you have, though, is that change is coming. It's the number seven. Um, I feel like this is a spiritual change because it is a number seven. It's that spiritual change. It's wisdom. And for me, uh, wisdom is something that's gained from experience, right? It's like you can read and learn something at any time, all the time, right? That's what most people do. And they feel like, oh, they have this wisdom because this is what they read. No, no, no. That That's something you learned, right? Wisdom comes from experience, from having the experience of practicing, of engaging, of learning like the toughest lessons. So this particular card, Changes Coming, says... This is uh, Archangel Michael speaking. I'm here to guide you through this exciting transformation. This is a time of joyous opportunities. I almost didn't want to read this card because most Oracle decks call it exciting, right? When we on the outside looking in are like, it's a change, but it ain't exciting, right? So uh, I thought it was pretty funny the way that the book kind of explains this particular card, um, how... We'll always say like we want a different life or we'll be so unhappy or so miserable in a situation. But then our angels, spirit, God, source, the universe has to literally make shit hit the fan or have us to hit a rock bottom in order for us to move into a change. But it's like you were so miserable there and here we are creating this opportunity for you get it, for you to get out of that misery and you don't want to let go or you are afraid of this change or you're not curious about doing doing anything differently. So which is true is were you really unhappy there in that situation? 
Did you really, or do you really want more or better? Or are you just that afraid of change? Either way, um, the fact of the matter is, guys, that there is something changing for you guys. And it may well be uh, on a physical level. Yeah. Uh, on a physical level here. And I feel like whoever it is I'm speaking to, you guys may not. It could be connected to family for sure. And it could be connected to your emotions about someone or something as well. Um... So what and whatever this change is, it could be something that you are not excited about. Um, that you maybe even have some type of aggressive energy towards someone or about the change that's taking place. But I am here to tell you that this is going to be a positive opportunity for you. This is likely the result of someone's prayers or manifestations here. It's definitely going to lead to success and growth with this star card energy for you and expansion, okay? Even if it doesn't feel good at the time. This really, this really looks like a cycle that needed to end. This is something that you needed to let go of in order to be able to progress or move forward. Um, and with that page of swords... You weren't, I feel like this is something that spirit kind of had to wrestle out of your hands, right? Had to make you get out of, okay? Because either you didn't have the courage to do so, or you were really anxious about it. Yeah, so I feel like this could be someone or something that has kind of walked away from you because you wouldn't walk away from it. But either way, spirit is advising that they are here to guide you through this change and it's going to be for the better you also have here the number 28 which again is a 10 which is all about what endings of cycles ending of cycles a sense of wholeness a sense of renewal which says that someone new is coming oftentimes when i see this card i um like you may think it is someone new like a person coming into your life this could be you you being the new, yeah, baby, and that's what that is. This could be you being the new someone that's coming, right? There's a sense of transformation here where someone may be feeling unhappy or um, alone or in deep thought here, but I feel like that is, this doesn't look like new people coming in. This looks like you and a new sense of happiness, a new sense of stability, and a new sense of clarity, a shift of mindset here coming in for you. Some of you are being pulled out of, yeah. Some of you are being pulled out of um, imbalanced partnerships or relationships and being forced into placing boundaries, putting boundaries in place. Yeah. Putting boundaries in place that should have long ago been in place. This is something that's meant to improve your mental health, your emotional well-being, um, your, I feel like your cognitive health, like, just clear, clearing your ability to think. And Spirit wants you to look at this. Be sure that you're looking at this in a positive way. Whatever this is, you're being guided to surrender to this new, um, the new energy, these, this cycle that's ending here, this sense of burden or overwhelm or stress that you may have gotten from whatever this previous situation is. Spirit is uh, incorporating these changes so that you are able to heal and properly transform some things, okay? So if you are you are also, again, being divinely guided and assisted here, um, and you're growing in wisdom as a result of what you experience, all right? So definitely change the way that you're looking at it. Allow yourself to feel what you feel, whether it is anger, whether it, whether it is sadness, whether it is grief or a sense of loss. Allow yourself to be really honest about that, but then also figure out what it is, that those feelings are trying to tell you okay this energy is going to give you time to prioritize yourself you have prioritized self-care you do so much for others especially capricorns y'all know how y'all do you do so much for others it's time for you to experience the love that you deserve and let others help you so um give yourself some time and allow people to show up for you some of you are experiencing career changes which says that you are ready for more there are some changes that you have been contemplating some of these things you were meant to let go of so that you are free to move into other opportunities. And then last but not least, guys, you have trust the guidance that you are receiving. You're being blessed with a brilliant epiphany, an aha moment. Um, and be, there is help where you are being guided and clear 
in clearing away any anxiety. I hope this was helpful. <laughs>